Hi guys and gals and how are you all on this lovely Sunday morning? Very welcome to the Sunday Challenge with myself, Mark O'Day and the fabulous Erica Hughes from Erica Hughes Art. Today's painting was a bloom. Myself had a white cell activator and Erica had a black cell activator. So make sure you pop over to Erica's channel and see how she got on with hers. In the meantime, Keep looking at mine and tell me what you think down in the comments, see how I did. I am up against the Bloom Queen. She is uh, fantastic at Bloom, so uh, I don't think I stand a chance in this challenge. But the challenge really is for me to see if I can do it. Not really to challenge Erica, but I'm using her colors and I'm using her recipe. So I'm trying to get, you know, but it, it's not gonna work. So anyway, check, uh, enjoy the video, check it out. It, it does a little bit of power scrape repeat, I'm afraid, <laughs> because things seem to never go the right way the first time. But anyway, it's all a learning process. If you're new, please do subscribe to myself and to Erica. And uh, if you're not, enjoy the video as usual. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Greetings again, folks. How are you all? So, uh, just gonna do a little voiceover for you. I'm up here chilling up in my little uh, computer area, computer room, relaxing and, of course, having a cup of tea. So, today's challenge was pretty awesome. As you know from the intro, it was a, uh, a bloom. And, uh, some of the little colours there, I'll show you what that is. That's a, that was, the blue one was a tanzanite blue and these are colours from Colour Art. And uh, that one was called Firefly. And the, that's the cell activator, which is white Amsterdam, titanium white Amsterdam with a Australian Floetrol. Uh, the base paint is just a house paint and I watered it down a little just so that it's not so thick, because I'm gonna do a little bit of spitting out on this, and I knew I was gonna do it. Now, on with the tanzanite. This is using um, Erica's pouring medium, um, her recipe for the pouring medium, with the, which is a Valsbar base paint. Um, I'll put this description down below there of uh, the exact measurements. But it's that and then some uh, some gloss varnish and a couple of other bits thrown in. Now this technique of blowing out I seen um, Karen in waterfall waterfall color uh, waterfall I think it's called um, doing that sideways sort of push of the paint and uh, I did one before and it came out great bit of a spin and off you go but um, I was kind of uh, off with my colours today because I knew I had to do a white cell activator and I just couldn't really find any dark colours and I had run out of uh, pouring medium when I did the two colours and I thought I'll just try it with the two colours and then see what happens but it spread so the blue spread so thin and it's a light blue anyway that it kind of turned into fluffy clouds and just this um, and it could I just couldn't quite get any selling properly or lacing so uh, oh, I thought I'll try it if I can get down to the lacing in the in the center it'd be good so what do I do I spin the bejesus out of it <laughs> see if we can get something What do you guys think? Nah, I don't think I know what's gonna happen here. This is a, definitely a case of a poor scrape repeat. <laughs> I didn't scrape it all off. Uh, Saskia, fair play to her, um, sent me a message the last time she's seen me scraping everything away and said, you can leave it on the canvas and you can pour straight on top of the old one if you want, but uh, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Now, the second go and you'll see things look a little different background colour is a bit different and that's because it's about 20 minutes later 
and that is because I had to pour some more or mix up some more pouring medium to get some more colors. Now of course the base paint there you can see is that lovely color, a kind of like dark pink and uh, that is, I tinted the, the, the base paint using some um, scarlet red from Arteza and a tiny bit of copper because I wanted to see if we can get a little bit of a shimmer in it and also uh, black just to kind of darken it down so that's the the base paint that was the tanzanite and the firefly gone on then i mixed up this uh this other one here and that is if i have it here with me sea goddess so sea goddess i threw in there i wanted to get some light colors and then i wanted to get this now this is just absolutely the best color and it was the very last bit of it i had it's called Payne's gray and it doesn't look great at all it's this fantastic blue i love it and i'm desperately going to get more of it and a lot of it to loot too so on goes the um cell activator which is the white one yeah uh, titanium white this time with the hair dryer i decided to go straight down and blast it out it worked mostly and then i just did a little sideways blast again just to get on this is much more like what i was after so i'm very happy with this just waiting a little while waiting for everything to get pulled back together again when you push down with the hair dryer it pushes all the paint aside and makes a little a little um like a valley in your paint so you wait for everything to push back together again and then uh, you get your hand on the bottom and you spin the bejesus out of it <laughs> oh, i love that so that's much much more what i'm after Another little tip I had there was uh, if you wanted the paint to move on one side, just uh, move your painting on the wheel a little bit so it's leaning over one side and then the paint will pull from that side, which it did. So I was happy with that. Just at that one corner there. Maybe I'm just not used to seeing pink as a, as a space, but um, I, didn't, I wasn't mad on it. I wanted to get that corner off. So uh, I'm trying desperately here now, but I don't want to lose everything. So I'm going to scrape off a few bits, see if I can get some more color on that area, just to pull it off when I spin. Move the canvas again, just to get it weighted on that, that corner. And there you go. I'm happy with that lad. So please have a look at these photos, enjoy, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, check out Erica's uh, competition or her challenge for today as well and uh, comment and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much. Well, there you go i hope you enjoyed that <laughs> it came out okay in the end i, I was happy enough and um, i hope erica's came out good too all right for next sunday i just wanted to let you know as you can see i did the uh, the roll of the dice and we have a dip with myself and erica both on black background so i'm very interested to see how that will go and uh, i'm really looking forward to this so see you guys next Sunday. Good luck.